What I'm going to show you today is how you can use MySQL Heatwave to process hundreds of terabytes of data which is stored in the object file very efficiently. And for this, I'm going to use a 250 terabyte data set and it takes two hours to load this data. So that's why I'm, what I'm going to show you is a recording of the steps. To start off with, we go to the OCI dashboard and we pick an instance of the MySQL database, Heatwave, which has been provisioned for Lakehouse. So when we pick an instance of MySQL Heatwave, if Lakehouse is provisioned, that's a cue that this instance of MySQL Heatwave can process data from the object store. For this demo, we're going to use 250 terabytes of TPCH data. TPCH has eight objects, and these files are loaded in the object store in a variety of formats. So we have files in CSV format, in Parquet format, files which have been exported directly from the Aurora database, and a couple of objects are also loaded in the MySQL database. So what we have is an aggregate of 250 terabytes, and the largest file is the line item uh, uh, table over here, which we're gonna start with. So we can load all of these files in one shot into MySQL HeatFab to start processing, but for this uh, illustration purposes, I'm gonna walk through one file at a time. The largest file is line item. It's about 200 terabytes in size, and we're gonna use autopilot to load this file. So the only thing I need to do is to invoke autopilot. And what autopilot does is it intelligently samples the file, runs machine learning models, and comes up with some interesting predictions. So here, autopilot is predict predicting that the size of the file is 195 terabytes. It has 16 columns, and it's about 1.5 trillion rows. Autopilot can also make predictions about the runtime characteristics. So it's predicting that on an average, uh, there are about 16 columns over here. It's gonna take 98 terabytes of memory, both to load the data compressed as well as the intermediate memory required. It's predicting it's gonna take two hours to load this 200 terabytes. It's gonna require 211 nodes of Heatwave. And all the SQL commands that are required to load this file into Heatwave are automatically generated by autopilot and written to a script. We are now gonna use the script to see what it contains. And for this, I'm gonna invoke VS Code for MySQL shell, which has been enhanced for MySQL Heatwave. So when we look at this file, we see that for all the 16 columns, Autopilot has defined what is the appropriate data type mapping to the database. For each of the columns, what's the appropriate precision for the number of columns? What's the appropriate max uh, width size for watchers? And if any of these columns have nulls or not? So all of this information has been automatically populated by Autopilot. Now the only thing which we need to do is to run the standard MySQL command to load this into um, Heatwave. And this is something which we can do by the standard alter table command. So I'm gonna execute this command. And when we execute this command, what is happening is this all of this data is being read from um, the object store in parallel into Heatwave. So one of the interesting things we have now done with Heatwave is that we are able to load the data in parallel in addition to processing the queries in parallel. So I issue the alter table command and we see that we are able to load 200 terabytes in two hours and the file indeed does contain 1.5 trillion rows. So very much in line with the prediction autopilot made. The same uh, capability for is available by autopilot for other files. So similarly, we can take files which have been exported from Aurora, files which have been exported from the Redshift database and load them directly into Heatwave. Same process. And we execute the alter table command to load this uh, uh, file into Heatwave. So in total, there are eight objects with TPCH. What I'm going to walk you through are three of them. The remaining five we have loaded in the background. So after I load the Aurora export file, the last table I'm going to show loading is from the MySQL database. Now at the end of this, what I have is a 250 terabyte data set, which has been loaded into a heat wave cluster of 300 nodes. And this was done, as you can see, by autopilot without any human intervention. So now the system is ready for running queries. What I'm, going, what I'm showing over here is a fairly complicated query. It's an eight-way join across seven tables. We are going to execute this query, an eight-way join query, on 250 terabytes of data, and let's see how long it takes. And you can see this is all using standard SQL syntax, right? So there's no proprietary extension. Users can use the standard SQL syntax for querying files in the object store. There you go. 
So we were able to execute this query, 8-way join on 250 terabytes in 41 seconds. Now, MySQL HeatWave provides support for real-time analytics. So any changes which are made to tables in the MySQL database are propagated in real time to HeatWave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to now go ahead and update a table in the MySQL database. I'm going to rerun the same query which I had shown you, and hopefully the results are going to be updated. So I'm rerunning the same query with the table updated. Yes, and as you see, the column has been updated. So what I've just shown you is by using MySQL HeatWave, we can now process hundreds of terabytes of data stored in the object store in variety of file formats very efficiently, both for loading as well as for query processing. Thank you.